Today I'm at Portia South Shore in Freeport, New York to check out a Paints and Sample Ivory Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. So let's go check it out. So here it is, the 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. This isn't just any GT4 RS though. This is believed to be the very first one painted in paint to sample ivory. We'll touch more on the spec later, but first let's discuss the car itself. As the new flagship model in the 718 family, it's powered by a naturally aspirated four liter flat six taken straight from the 911 GT3, but turned around 180 degrees. It makes 493 horsepower at 8,400 RPM, up from the the regular GT4's 414 horsepower. Maximum torque is 331 pound-feet, delivered at 6,250 RPM. And the engine screams all the way to its 9,000 RPM redline. Zero to 60 miles per hour takes just 3.2 seconds, and the quarter mile arrives in 11.3 seconds. And the top speed is a claimed 196 miles per hour. Unlike the GT4, the GT4 RS doesn't come with a manual transmission. A seven-speed dual-clutch automatic is the only option. Porsche says that on the Nürburgring racetrack, the GT4 RS beats the GT4 by 23.6 seconds. This quicker time is a result of the extra horsepower, working with track-optimized chassis settings, aerodynamic tweaks, and grippier tires. The RS rides 1.2 inches lower than a standard Cayman. The underbody and rear diffuser are modified, and there's a new front spoiler lip with side blades. With the spoilers adjusted to their track settings, downforce improves by 25% over the GT4. Like on other RS models, extensive use of carbon fiber reinforced plastic helped get the weight down. So on the GT4 RS, the hood, front fenders, seats, and rear wing are all constructed of the lightweight material. And as you can see here, some of that carbon becomes visible when you spec the $13,250 YSAC package, which this car has. That package also allows customers to replace the standard 20-inch forged aluminum wheels with forged magnesium wheels for an extra $15,640. But this car does not have those. With the forged magnesium wheels, the car's weight is reduced by 22 pounds. Visually, the YSAC package gives you flared air intake scoops in this rear side window spot, whereas non-YSAC cars have intakes that are flush with the body. This is one of the best features of the GT4 RS, considering the regular Cayman just has small side windows here. So these new air intakes improve both the intake airflow and, at the same time, creates a thrilling intake noise right next to the occupant ears. And the air intakes in front of the rear wheels are still here and are used for engine cooling. With a full fuel tank and without a driver, this car weighs just about 3,120 pounds, and that's about 77 pounds less than a PDK-equipped 718 GT4. In addition to the carbon fiber reinforced plastic, other things that help to save weight are the lightweight carpets and a reduction in the amount of insulation material. This example has the option carbon fiber floor mats, but the regular carpets that this car comes with are lighter than the ones in the regular GT4. What also helped save weight is the rear window being made of lightweight glass. Additionally, these lightweight door panels have textile opening loops and nets on the storage compartments to help reduce weight even further. And that's something you just have to love about Porsche. They're always on a quest to reduce unnecessary weight. In addition to this really cool air intake on the side of the car, another great feature about the GT4 RS is this swan neck wing. This highly efficient wing principle is actually derived from the Porsche 911 RSR GT racing car and was first adopted in a Porsche series production car 
with the 911 GT3. Another thing I love about this car are the louvers in the front fenders, which help improve downforce and reduce pressure in the wheel wells. And on the hood, you can see the NACA ducts, which help cool the front brakes. As for modifications to the chassis, ball joints bind the chassis tightly to the body to deliver even more precise and direct handling. And the adjustable circuit-ready chassis has an RS-specific shock absorber setup, as well as modified spring and anti-roll bar rates. So let's go a little bit more into depth on what the optional YSAC package gives you. So like we mentioned, it gives you this exposed carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber air intakes, a carbon fiber rear wing, and a carbon fiber air box cover. So like we said on this car, the YSAC package is an option that costs just over $13,000, and on the GT3 RS, it costs just over $33,000. What's cool is that the titanium tailpipes look similar to the exhaust system on the Porsche 935. So now let's check out the interior. The first thing you'll notice is that the seats are different. So this here is a 3D printed body form full bucket driver's seat in the medium size. So it's all black with some blue like mesh wiring in the middle on the bottom and on the sides on the back piece. And you'll see it's raised in the middle so it's more comfortable for the driver. This seat cost over $3,300, and it is very comfortable, but I don't know how different it is from the regular bucket seat, which we see right there in blue with a black stripe down the middle. The door panels are covered in Alcantara and leather with that deep sea blue stitching and matte carbon fiber trim. You've got this net down here for storage, as well as these blue pull loops to open and pull the door shut. You've got more storage over here, your window switches, and your mirror adjustment switches. Over here, we've got matte carbon fiber door sills with GT4 RS written there. From this angle, you can see the glorious carbon fiber of these bucket seats, just beautiful. And I love how it has that deep sea blue stitching on the headrests. It says YSAC RS with the YSAC track. Tons of Alcantara on the dash with more of that matte carbon fiber trim. I'm gonna sit in the car in just a moment, but I wanna show you this first. The engine is right behind the driver and passenger. There's no window, there's no glass blocking you. It's like the sound just fills the cabin, which must be really cool when you're driving this car hard. And you can actually see the channel of air right here. So the air comes into these air intakes on the side and then gets channeled through there into the engine. So it's really cool that you can see that right behind the seat. So now we're seated in the GT4 RS. You've got a fully Alcantara steering wheel with a yellow 12 o'clock marker on the top. A great view of those white instrument dials. Those look amazing. As well as the white chrono stopwatch dial. You've got matte carbon fiber trim in the middle with Alcantara over here. More of that blue stitching. And then of course you've got the buttons and switches for your infotainment system and your climate control. And buttons over here for ESC. ESC and traction control, your suspension, PDK Sport, front axle lift system, and your exhaust valves, and then of course, hazard lights, lock button. You've got your console right here, which doesn't really fit much, just your phone and a USB port. You've got a YSAC RS badge on the passenger side of the dashboard, your glove box right below that, and your cup holders right here. Not one, but two cup holders, which is very convenient. So here's the view of the engine from the driver's seat. I just can't get over how cool that is. We can't take this one for a drive, but hopefully soon I'll get a ride in a GT4 RS to show you guys what it's like on the road. So now let's discuss the spec. Nine standard colors are available for this car, and those colors are white, black, 
Guards Red and Racing Yellow as solid colors, and Carrara White Metallic, Gentian Blue Metallic, GT Silver Metallic, Arctic Gray, and Shark Blue as special colors. But then of course, with the Paint to Sample program, you can choose from a palette of 115 pre-approved colors, and that's what the customer of this GT4 RS did, and they chose Paint to Sample Ivory. So this is a color you don't see too often. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is believed to be the only GT4 RS in this color, so it is very special. And what makes this spec so unique, besides this rare paint, are these satin indigo blue wheels. At first I found this spec a little strange, a little out there, but honestly it's really grown on me. Somehow the blue works well with the ivory and I think it looks good. There are two other Porsche colors that are similar to ivory, but they're both lighter than this one, and those colors are light ivory and cream white. White. So this shade is a bit more yellow and a bit darker than both of those. Now let's discuss the optional equipment that this one has. So the GT4 RS starts at $149,100, and with all of the options, this build comes to $203,730. So this paint to sample color is a $12,830 option. Do you guys think it's worth it? Like we discussed, the YSAC package is a $13,200. $250 option. Wheels painted in satin indigo blue is a $600 option. The Porsche ceramic composite brakes are an $8,000 option. Brake calipers in high gloss black is a $900 option. The front axle lift system is a $3,040 option. Some no cost options are the deletion of model designation on the doors and on the rear. Carbon fiber window triangle trims is a $640 option. And moving on to the interior options, a leather slash race tax interior in black with deep sea blue stitching costs $2,160. The fire extinguisher costs $140. Deep sea blue seat belts cost $360. The light design package costs $350. The Bose surround sound system costs $900. The smartphone compartment costs $560. The owner's manual wallet in carbon fiber costs $900. These carbon fiber floor mats with leather edging cost $840. This medium sized 3D printed body form full bucket driver's seat costs $3,380. The steering column casing in leather costs $470. The white instrument dials cost $900. And the white chrono stopwatch dial costs $420. There are a few more options, but to me, those are the ones that stand out the most. So now that we're done checking out the car, I want to show you the cool room it's parked inside of. So this is Porsche South Shore's owner's lounge, where owners can look at and take delivery of their Porsches. Inside, there's Porsche art on the walls, a bottle of champagne, some fascinating books, and several model cars. So here we've got a black 935, and then we've got a blue GT3 RS, the 991.1 generation, a Martini Racing Collector's Tin Box, Box, another 935, some bottles, the Vision Gran Turismo, which was their first car developed purely for the digital world, a martini racing clock, and some more books. This is a great space for any Porsche fan to be in. The Ivory example isn't the only PTS GT4 RS at this dealership. There's also an olive green one, which looks amazing. This was actually the very first GT4 RS customer car I ever saw back in October of 2022. It looks perfect with the satin black wheels and yellow brake calipers. Just like the Ivory car, it has loads of carbon fiber, but unlike the Ivory car, it has the model designation on the doors and on the rear, so everyone will know what this car is. I'd love to know if you would keep or delete the model designation and if you'd take the ivory car or the olive green car. Right in front of it is a regular GT4, which is good to see for comparison. The GT4 RS looks substantially more aggressive and track ready as an RS car should be, but the regular model is still a great car. So that was my visit to Porsche South Shore in Freeport, New York. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.